Welcome to another video. Let's try to integrate the Lambert W function just the way we would integrate any function. There's nothing complicated about this. We just need to know an easy way to integrate it. Let me give you a reminder. The very first time you saw this, as a calculus student, your mind quickly told you that you knew the answer to this. But then when you started, you figured out that you didn't know how to integrate the natural log of x. Unless you have memorized it, as you're watching this video, you probably do not remember what the answer to this is. Yeah, okay, we had to use u substitution or integration by parts, and ultimately we got this answer that gave us that this is x, ln of x minus x plus c. This is how you integrate this using integration by parts. Okay, now our answer we're going to get here is going to be very, very similar to this. Remember that the relationship between natural log of x and e to the x is similar to the relationship between the Lambert W function and e to the x. It's just that there's an additional x. And that's, it's just some additional x that's going to cause um, a difference between what we get here and what we're going to get here. But it's the same process of integration by parts. Okay, now that you see that it's not too complicated, Let's get into the video. Because we don't know how to integrate the Lambert W function, we only know how to differentiate the Lambert W function. Remember from the previous video, uh, if you didn't watch the video for the differentiation, um, I'll put the link in the description. We have to rewrite this in a way that we can integrate it, okay? Not like we, not, it's not that we cannot integrate this, but it's gonna be a bit confusing if I leave this to be w of x. So what I'm gonna say is, let's do a u substitution, which is what I would do in the case of natural log of x also. So I'm gonna say, let u be equal to what we have here. Okay, so we'll just work with u and then at the end of the day we come back and substitute back for w of x. So we want to write this in a way that we can work with. It is easy to differentiate and to in integrate exponential functions. So let's do some manipulations. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to take e of both sides. Right? Now, what I'm going to do next is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to multiply this by u so that this is u e to the u. But instead of multiplying this by u also, because I said u is w of x, I'm going to multiply this by w of x e to the w of x. It's the same thing, because remember, we said u is equal to w of x. That was the assumption we made from the beginning. But we know that w of x e to the w of x because they're inverse functions will give you back your x. So what can I do? I can actually claim that x is equal to u e to the u. And now I don't have to deal with this guy for now until I get to the very end, somewhere on this part of the board. I can imagine it. So what can we do with this? That's where we can get our dx. We can get our dx from here and we can go replace this with u and that's it. So the integral we'll be working with is gonna be integral of, we said let u be this, so we're gonna say this is equal to u, but what is dx? We're going to get our dx from here. If you differentiate, rather, dx, we're differentiating both sides. dx is going to be equal to, now you're going to differentiate this with respect to u, but this is a product. Because this is a product, you have to use the product rule. So we're going to 
keep the first and differentiate the second e to the u plus differentiate the first you're going to get one keep the second e to the u so this is what we have so we can clearly say that dx will be equal to um, u plus 1 times e to the u and this is what I'm going to transfer instead of writing dx here I'm going to write u plus 1 u plus 1 times e to the u oh du where I didn't put du come on all of this will be du okay with respect to u. Remember, this side is with respect to u, this side is with respect to x. Okay, so this is what we have. Um, I can distribute this actually so that I can have, this is the same thing as the integral of u squared plus u multiplied by e to the u du. This is a polynomial multiplying an exponential function. It is the easiest integration by parts you can ever get because the polynomial will always go to zero as you keep differentiating and this will not change. It stays the same. Beautiful. Okay, so integration by parts, we're going to use the di table. Always use the di table unless you're instructed to not use it. If you don't know what the di table is, then you haven't learned integration by parts or Okay, I'll leave the link in the description also. Here we go. Let's try to integrate this and we're gonna get our answer immediately. We're gonna have a table here. So, whenever you have a polynomial multiplying an exponential function, differentiate the polynomial, integrate the exponential function. So we're going to integrate the exponential function e to the u and we're going to differentiate the polynomial u squared plus u differentiate okay don't forget to put your signs plus minus plus if I differentiate u squared plus u what would I get I'll get 2u plus 1 if I differentiate this again what would I get I'll get just two. If I differentiate one more time, I'm going to get zero. Well, you stop whenever you get zero. On this side, you just keep integrating e to the u. If you integrate e to the u, you get e to the u. e to the u. e to the u. So how do you pick up your answer from the table? You said the table is beautiful because you save space also and time. You're going to multiply diagonally like this. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to multiply this way. But we don't waste our time multiplying this way because 0 times anything is 0. So this last line does not work and the integral of 0 is 0. So now let's pick up the answers to this. So this is going to give us u squared plus u times e to the u. So we have u squared plus u times e to the u. The next line is going to be minus 2u plus 1 minus 2u plus 1 times e to the u. And then we're going to have plus 2e to the u. Okay, let me put this in a box so we don't confuse it. This is our int. Hey, plus c. <sighs> Never forget plus c. Let's find a spot for plus c here. Nice. So, what should we do? Well, remember our mission is to not use u at the end of our problem. We want to go back and make sure everything looks like w of x. So it has to be either w of x or x, no u, okay? So, if we go back here, let's redistribute these things and see what we have. The first term here is going to be u squared e to the u. And then this is going to be plus u e to the u. The next one is going to be minus 2 u e to the u and this minus will turn this into a minus and it becomes just minus e to the u and then we're going to have plus 2 e to the u and then we have 
are constant of integration. So let's do some cleanup. This and this will reduce, and I'll, because I don't need u squared, I need ue to the u, because ue to the u appears to make life easy for us. ue to the u appears everywhere. So let's just separate one of these u's, so you have u, and then you have times, u e to the u plus you see u e to the u minus 2 u e to the u is the same thing as minus u e to the u minus u e to the u okay we're done with all of these and then these two will give us plus e to the u because this is two positive one negative plus c okay now let's do all the substitutions we know we know u e to the u is called x, right? And we know that u is w of x. So we can actually write this as w of x times x, which is going to be x w of x. This is x. And e to the u, we, I don't want e to show up because... I don't, I don't need any E, okay, I know, we could use E actually, but I actually don't want to write it as E. I want to write it in terms of W and X only. So what do I do? I go back to the relationship that we saw at the beginning. Look here. If you don't want to write this as E to the U, you write it as, because this is U, remember? You write it as x divided by w of x. So I can actually replace this with x over the w of x plus c. Now, some of you may not like this answer because you don't see e to the x there. So you might as well write the other version. There are actually three or four versions of this answer, but we can say, or let's just put it here, or uh, we can just box something here and say that this integral is equal to x w of x minus x plus e to the w of x. C. Okay, this looks cleaner actually, but it has e of x, which is a different function. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.